tonight to ABC's coverage of the Summer Games and what a competition it's shaping up to be. The spotlight today, as it has been for the last week, is firmly on the plucky little team from Baruch. As I'm sure you all know, this is the first year that Baruch has sent athletes to the games and the world has fallen in love with these enthusiastic first-timers. We certainly have. What the Baruchian team lacks in skill, they more than make up for with heart, determination, and a surprising lack of concern for their own personal safety. <laughs> the Baruchian team is taking to the mat. You can see them there with their coach, Anton Zip, and he's giving them some last-minute instructions, I guess. One of them appears to be very flexible. Yeah, exactly one of them has some flexibility. Okay, the floor exercises are up first, and I understand the Baruchian team is leading off with Oliva Vint. <laughs> there she holds onto the hips, old lady style. That's a very uh, jaunty dance, not what we would think of as gymnastics. More of a square dance, really. More fitting at a, at a hoedown than a, a gymnastics meet, but there's a horse here. Yep, yeah, there's that heart and spirit. She does appear to be entertaining herself. <laughs> Looks like she's getting ready to start a combination here. Maybe a front flip or a... Oh, what was that? A little flourish to let us know something's about to happen. And... Well, that was a somersault. Looks like she's going to try and maybe run back to the other side. The diagonal run across the map worked so well the first time. I don't know what to call it. Sort of an abbreviated log roll. That's the sort of thing you might do if you were on fire. We're going to take a quick commercial break, and then we'll be back with more coverage of the plucky Baruchian gymnastic team. Stay tuned. We're here at the gymnastics competition where the little nation that thought it could, but couldn't, Baruch, is in the midst of their floor exercises. As you can see, Olive Event is now about 20 minutes into what is traditionally a two and a half minute event. She's so full of joy that things like time and rules are not entering into her mind. Ow! Yeah, that was just about nothing. Okay, we'll be back with Oliva in a few moments, but one of her teammates is about to start on the balance beam, so let's head over there. Here's Neffa Shoes on the balance beam. I can't say I'm expecting much. No, certainly not. Up and down. Oh, she's <laughs> <already disqualified. laughs> You just want to tell her to start over. It's over before it's really begun. She's determined. Oh, yeah, the Baruchian team does not know the meaning of the word quit. Certainly not in English. Looks like she'd, uh, she'd love to stand up. Probably a bad idea. I understand that she suffers from an inner ear disorder. Can't help with your balance. No. I think it's got to be very bad. <laughs> oh, and she's standing. She's on two feet. I want to run up to her and tell her just keep both feet on the beam at all times. I think she should cut her losses and call that a victory. I don't think she's going to. No, I don't think so either. That wouldn't be Baruchian style. Oh, oh she's, she's down. But normally I would say that's going to hurt her with the judges, but it's far too late. Yeah, she's as hard as you can be. Sort of a little bow and arrow thing she's doing there. Why not? There's a sort of a serenity to her facial expression that lets us know that everything's all right. <laughs> oh, well, she off the beam. Let's There's see if she... Uh, that looked like an intentional dismount, unlike the other ones. We'll be back with more gymnastics after these words from our sponsors. This is... embarrassing. A complete waste of everyone's time. <laughs> After all that, I still couldn't hit the pot. Looks like a lava vent is trying to pull off a handstand here. I think she's trying to just break her own neck. That's a way out of this routine. Yeah, that is an interesting angle. There she goes. Oh, she's up there. Well, I, hopefully she has a sense of accomplishment at the end of that. <laughs> Welcome back to ABC's coverage of the Summer Games. That was Oliva Vint you just saw, and she is deep into hour two of her floor exercises. <laughs> All right.
right, they're about to begin the rings. And first up is the Baruchian gymnast, Beza Nulis. Going to start. Oh, no. Isn't that surprising? That's just, that is a rough beginning. Close? Yeah, Close. you got a piece of that one. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's not unconventional uh, for a gymnast to get a hand up from someone. I don't know if they realize that. No. <laughs> there goes again. It's, why do I think he's never going to stop? He's very frustrated. Must have very weak calf muscles. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, there's Coach Anton Zip. Uh, maybe not the oh, most graceful way to mount the bars. Oh. The ring for Perhaps the worst mount in history. Yeah. But he's up there. And that is accomplishment enough. Well done, Bezin. Somebody does not shave their armpits. <laughs> oh, that's... Oh. That is an actual uh, gymnastics... Uh, it looks like it hurts. <laughs> now, upside down. Upside down and turning and twisting in the breeze. At a loss for something to do next. He's back down. He's back down. Oh, so he's lost very a strong ring. Going. Yeah. I don't know if I've ever seen that before. No, I think most gymnasts at that point would have hopped off and uh, retired and towelled off. But no, he he looked just like a Baruki. <laughs> All right, Bezin looks like he's just about done here, so let's head over to the Uneven Bars event, which is already in progress. <laughs> this is Shulip Seed. She told me earlier that she has never seen Uneven Bars and does not know what they are. Not surprising. No. Looks like she's turning herself around now. And if she turns herself around here, she can probably say goodbye to that lower bar. She probably won't be back. I'm hoping she says goodbye to both the bars and ends this quickly. That would be nice. Kind of like a kindergartner on the monkey bars. All right, we're just receiving word that there's been some kind of accident down on the rings. <laughs> Bez Nulis has been still there on the bars for a long time, and a doctor has been called in to examine him. Hard to imagine that someone could fall asleep uh, with his hands dripping onto the rings. Never mind, fall unconscious. Wow. This is another tragic blow for the Baruchian team. It appears as though Bez Nulis has died on the rings. We're going to take a short commercial break, and hopefully we'll have more information when we get back. a promising young star in the gymnastic firmament, passed away earlier today on the ring. In a tribute to this remarkable young man, his coach Anton Zip will be performing the pommel horse routine that Bezin was scheduled to perform. Oh, this, uh, strain. Strain is sort of the signature move of the Baruchian team. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ow! 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 Oh, ow. I can't imagine he'll ever have children after no. this event. Nothing the Baruchian team has been especially easy to watch. This is the hardest to watch. <laughs> he's up, he's mostly he's upside up. down. He's prone. Almost looks like he wants to hurt himself. We could have another death. Yeah, we could easily have another death. I don't know if it's over. I wonder if his pockets being turned out is supposed to mean something. <laughs> Some folks are meant to coach. This can only end in falling on the floor. <laughs> this is as predictable as the dawn. Onto the oh. floor. Look at that. Oh. He's back up again, punishing those testicles. And his pants. And his pants. Yes, his pants are torn. He seems like he'd like nothing more than to stop, but some something drives him on. <laughs> Back up. Oh, back I saw up more than I wanted to through that yeah. little hole. Yeah. He's over the, the horse. He's back up on his feet. Exactly. And thank that God. probably means he's dead. A touching, touching tribute. That sad performance ends our coverage for today. And once again, our prayers go out to Bezin's family and to the entire Baruchian team. <laughs>
who honestly are dropping like flies. For ABC Sports, I'm Dennis Legray. And I'm Lindsay Welsh. Good night. This is it for me. This was my final show of math.